Desiree. Calm down. Oh, Tahi, you can't let Desiree beat on you. We told you to come get us. Tahi, get on my nerves. Desiree. I know. Go to your room. Okay. Not the sofa arm, too. Another Desiree designer original. Everything is funny to you, Ronald. Don't give up. Desiree has made tremendous progress. I just put a hole in the wall. I think I broke the door, too. Hmm. Yeah, she's gone from fear to anger. Now, how was that tremendous progress? You still want to do this? Desiree would start all over again. You want us to start all over again? Daddy, let's watch TV in my room. Tahi! Call me Tina, Miss Brenda. If you call me Mommy. Brenda, don't rush her. Who's rushing, Daddy? And Tina, you know the rules. I'm the only one allowed to come into your room. Let's go, little mama. Hey. No one said to come out of your room. I'm sorry, Daddy. Let me tell my side of the story. You know, I'm always getting your side of the story. And I'm going to tell Miss Fuentes. Don't tell Miss Fuentes! Or I'll tell her that you and Mom were fighting. What are you doing out of your room? Talking with Dad. Uh, what was my question? That's why nobody likes you, because you're not nice like Daddy. All right, enough with your smart mouth. I want you to go to your room now. You let these girls manipulate you. You can't always be the nice guy. What is wrong with being the nice guy? I didn't tell her to come out of her room. And you didn't send her back either. And Tahi has you wrapped around her little finger. You know what your problem is? You think that Desiree's right, that nobody likes you. Well, the evidence is stacked against me. We are in this together. Well, thank you for the reminder. It. You can't rip the patch out like that. It'll get ruined. Let's add these, Miss Brenda. That sounds like a good idea. is Marcella. I heard she's from Haiti. Well, I hate her. Is she going to stay with us? She's not staying with me. Sweetie. I don't want her here. Man, our house is crazy enough as it is. I can't stand it. Desiree! Desiree, don't do this. Stop, Ronald. Miss Wintess said let her go and call the police. Where did the police find her? <laughs> At the school. I fight with her every morning for her to go, and when she runs away, it becomes a refuge. Anything familiar is refuge, even pain. That's why she fights against trust and dependency and love. What you and Ronald are offering her is foreign. Our loving marriage has gotten a little foreign, too. Right there. That is why I rejected Marcella coming into your home. By speaking to my supervisor, you got what you want, but not what you need. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Fuentes. I didn't think we were scheduled to meet today. I needed Miss Fuentes here. I remember when you needed me here. Oh, that was when you were worth having here. What? Look, I... Stop. 
You two aren't getting anywhere. Can you tell me why? Why what? Why do this? Why the need for children? There are so many roles that I could be. To be a father matters. The man inside me says to, to create and cover. And I never had that. Maybe that's why it's so important to me. All, all women don't have this feeling. I know I do. I've always wanted a family, to be a mother. And the doctor said I couldn't. Well, I wasn't going to let that stop me. Would the lack of joy in your marriage cause you to stop? We will make it through this. Oh, I think that's the girls. Hey. Tahi. Miss Flipdance, I missed you. And the Academy Award for Best Actress. <laughs> I heard you had quite an evening. Mm. Do you want to tell me about it? You're only going to take their side. It wasn't her fault, Miss Fuentes. Sahi, you are not helping her or yourself. Come on, maybe we should give this one time alone. Maybe. Porter has it pretty easy. Huh? What do you mean? Spin it, turn it, flip it. You only have two options, heads or tails. And even then, we can guess wrong. In life, so many options. And even when you know it's tails, all you get is heads. Did you know Marcella was coming? It doesn't matter. This is your home. I've heard that before. Exactly. I told you that when Tahi arrived here two years ago, and it still holds true. Then why am I still in foster care? I just want a regular family. You have more than that. You have people who care. I have known you since you were five. And you talk peace, but you seek a fight. You have to fight if you want to survive. No one is fighting you. You fight the idea of adoption. You fight the idea of a loving home and a nice family. Stop fighting for what you need. I don't need nothing from nobody. No, that's a lie coming from anyone's mouth. Get out of here. Don't do that, Desiree. You want some juice? Juice. I'll get it. I remember the first and the last cup you gave me. <sighs> what? I gave you what you asked for. Two lumps. I call that one of my many lessons that I needed to learn. I'm Marcella. I'm goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Are you leaving? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. I know your parents hurt you, but now you're with people who love you. We're all here to help. I don't like this house. Okay. I could put you in a group home until you're 18. What are my other options? Heads or tails. This is too easy for you to guess wrong. Brenda hates me, and Daddy isn't nice to me. What does it mean for Daddy to be nice to you? My other fathers, they would play with me, and when they'd stop, that's when they make me leave, and 
I don't want to leave. Those were not good fathers, Tahi. What they made you do, you don't have to worry about that here. Because these people love you. Not Desiree. Desiree is learning what love is. Just like you. Leave her alone. Will you pick on her all the time? I can, you can. You tripping. Thanks. Thank me by changing. You remind me of someone I knew who let people hurt you. Will you help me? Nobody asked me for help before. Thanks. That was cool. The first week seemed pretty good. Oh. One week down, the rest of our lives to go. You make things too hard. <laughs> we are perceived as saints when we open our house to these innocent little girls. And then we're viewed as wicked foster parents when the children beg for food. Look, these are special needs foster kids. No locks on the door and they will eat until they get sick. Buy something new and they'll destroy it within minutes. Nobody knows what we have to go through to raise these kids. And that's what's so hard. No one really knows. Plus, the papers came today. Desiree's hearing is just two months away. Brenda, we agreed to this. Oh, I didn't know what I was saying yes to. So much easier when they weren't here. Of course it was. But you forget about the nights that you cried to have children of your own. Well, these girls have taught me so much that I didn't want to learn. Will you talk to me? If I could just... just hide the pain and, and, and live a normal life, then the past would go away, but Tahi's abuse reminds me so much of my own. I wish you would have told me. Oh, I'm just telling myself, Ronald. You know, I love these girls, but I hate the way they make me feel. You don't hate them. We, will, will you listen to what I'm saying, please? I mean, this little girl comes into my home and showers you with, with affection. I mean, come on, well, who does she think she is? Are you more angry that she's doing it? Or that you can't do it. We'll just add that to my list of don't know. But I, I'm quite sure that Desiree is keeping track. Because everything about her lets me know that I am all wrong. Now that's called insecurity. And it's not coming from Desiree. Well, I wouldn't have insecurities if it wasn't so hard. See, that's why I wanted Marcella. Because she would be easy. for her, and she pulls away. <laughs> hey, you can make it through this if you just let me in. Ow. <laughs> She's my wife and I need to know. She's been keeping this from herself longer than she's kept it from you. Now she can get the help that she really needs. She met with her therapist last week. She's with our pastor now. It's just difficult putting the puzzle together when you don't have all the pieces. Exactly. So what piece of the puzzle are you holding? I gave 110% to make this work. You know, I've passed up some good paying jobs just so I could be home more. I traded in the BMW because Desiree would have found a way to destroy anything that mattered to us. I know you gave up a lot. And I wanted a son. Wow. And with Desiree's violent history and Tahi's misinterpretation <laughs> oh, of affection, no boy is safe in our house. Don't preach sacrifice to me when I wrote the sermon. Brenda needs you. 
by you being kind and sweet and not taking a stand? It hurts Brenda. She can't be the only authority in the home. For her, it's like you're an absent father. Absent father? I know what an absent father is. Never around except for check day? Could care less if your kids are starving? I've made some mistakes, but I've learned from them. And you're learning. We all are. For the girls, they're learning to love, to give and receive. For Brenda, trust and security in others and in herself. And I guess for me, you know, being in a house is more than an income. I didn't have a man to teach me that. You're a good man. You're a good husband and you're a good father. You worry about saying the right and the wrong things. That's natural. Just know that it's all part of being a parent. If you don't get it right the one day, you always have the next. Yeah. So what about you? What are you learning? As a social worker, as a counselor, I've learned to avoid my problems. I've gotten pretty good at it. But I think it's time for a change. Time is filled with swift transitions. Not on earth a move can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. And hold to God's unchanging hand. You are to hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. You wavered in your decision with this time and time again. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, I was unsure because things were out of order, Pastor Evans. Explain that, please. Uh, Pastor Evans, I felt like God betrayed me. I prayed for children and my body wouldn't hold a child and believe in God's word when it says to take care of the orphans. And when I do, I get these girls that make me regret sending up that prayer. Unfortunately, I believe you placed your hope in those girls and not in God. Yeah, I wrapped my hope up in my dreams of being a mother. Maybe that's why my hopes got crushed. Build your hopes on things eternal. And hold on to God's unchanging and hand. Hold on to God's unchanging <laughs> hand. Oh, I got a grip on him now. <laughs> you might as well, because he's always had a grip on you. I know. So all you can do now is just hold on and hang in there. I will. Things I will. have got to get better. I know. We are here to finalize or begin the adoption for Desiree Wilson. Can Desiree and her adoptive parents please stand? Now, this is a little unorthodox, but my courtroom, my rules. Mr. and Mrs. Holloway, why do you want to adopt Desiree? When Desiree came into our home five years ago, we immediately fell in love with her, Your Honor. And although we've had our ups and downs, I've learned that every family does. I see a lot of families in here. And what I've learned is that a family is like a quilt. It's all connected. You rip out a piece, it will damage the beauty of the quilt. The uniqueness is in all the differences coming together. I have to admit that um, Desiree can be some uh, pretty tough material, but we would not trade her for anything in the world. Desiree, please let me know what you just heard. That I have a family that really loves me, Miss Yates. I mean, Judge. Previously, you said you didn't want to be adopted. What changed? I decided to make the right choice. I picked heads this time. <laughs> ah! So will I get adopted next, Mommy? Yes, Tina, if you want. <laughs> of course she wants to get adopted, so then we can look after our new little sister. Isn't that right, Marcella? Yes, goodbye. Goodbye? Just a joke between sisters. 